The first iPhone was unveiled in 2007 by Steve Jobs and revolutionized mobile phones forever. With the new iPhone 13 being released in September 2021, it's time to see how Apple keeps improving and innovating the iPhone throughout the years. This is the evolution of the iPhone. Before the iPhone was released, the most popular mobile phone was the Nokia 1200, but there were also more advanced phones like the Motorola Q. However, in 2007, Apple designed a device that would completely revolutionize the mobile phone industry. This is a day I've been looking forward to for two and a half years. Well, the iPhone definitely was revolutionary, and the introduction of the iPhone basically meant the funeral for Nokia. The iPhone was introduced as a product that combines three devices. An iPod, a phone. Are you getting it? These are not three separate devices. This is one device, and we are calling it iPhone. The first iPhone was released in 2007, and unlike many of its competitors, like the Motorola Q, it did not feature a QWERTY keyboard. The iPhone was entirely different. It only had one button and a 3.5-inch widescreen display. It works like magic. You don't need a stylus. It's far more accurate than any touch display that's ever been shipped. It ignores unintended touches. It's super smart. You can do multi-finger gestures on it. And boy, have we patented it. Another major feature that made the iPhone so successful were the applications and the easy-to-use software. Software that's at least five years ahead of what's on any other phone. The iPhone had a 2-megapixel camera, good performance, and multiple storage options. All this came at a high starting price of $499. For this amount of money, you could almost buy 10 Nokias. Besides being cheap, the Nokia had one other advantage. It was almost indestructible. Despite its price, the iPhone became a massive success and 6.1 million units were sold. Fun fact, did you know that Apple made the first iPhone prototype in 1983? Back then, it wasn't a smartphone, but a landline phone with a touchscreen computer and a stylus. The release of the iPhone made it clear that Steve Jobs wasn't a big fan of the stylus. Who wants a stylus? You have to get them and put them away and you lose them, yuck. While the excitement over the iPhone was massive, one of the major complaints Apple received was that the phone was too expensive. The number one reason by far they all want one is they just can't afford it. So in 2008, Apple introduced the iPhone 3G, which they described as twice as fast at half the price. It surfs the web and downloads data twice as fast for half the price. Introducing the new iPhone. One of its main features was being able to connect to 3G networks. This significantly improved the speed of mobile internet. It was also the first iPhone with a built-in GPS and the App Store. In 2009, Apple released the iPhone 3GS, with the S standing for speed. Due to a new chip and double the RAM, Apple claimed that the 3GS was twice as fast as its predecessor. It also came with an improved battery. It allowed users to watch videos for up to 10 hours. The camera was upgraded to 3 megapixels and it had 32 gigabytes storage option, but the starting price was $599. The iPhone 3GS became a huge success. Within the first weekend, over 1 million units were sold. Fun fact, originally the iPhone was going to have a plastic screen. However, when Jobs had a prototype in his pocket, the screen was scratched by his keys. That's why the screen was replaced by glass iPhone had its first major redesign in 2010 with the iPhone 4. Compared to the previous iPhones, it was thinner, had sharper edges, and a stainless steel frame. This is, beyond a doubt, the most precise thing, one of the most beautiful things we've ever made. It also came with a front camera so people could use FaceTime and make selfies. It was also the first iPhone with a high-resolution retina screen. The rear camera was improved to 5 megapixels, and the RAM was doubled. The iPhone 4 became yet another massive success, and an estimated 50 million units have been sold. 
Steve Jobs revived Apple when it was on the verge of bankruptcy, created countless innovative products people from all around the world loved, and inspired millions with his passion and creativity. Sadly, on October 5th, 2011, he passed away at the age of 56. The iPhone 4S was the first iPhone launched after Tim Cook became the CEO of Apple in 2011. This time, the S did not stand for speed, but for Siri. Hey, Siri, what is zero divided by zero? Imagine that you have zero cookies, and you split them evenly among zero friends. How many cookies does each person get? See, it doesn't make sense. And Cookie Monster is sad that there are no cookies, and you are sad that you have no friends. Wow, I just got roasted by Siri. Do you think it will snow today? It sure looks like snow today. Say hello to Siri on the most amazing iPhone yet. The iPhone 4S had a new Apple A5 chip that allowed for up to seven times faster graphics. It also came with a better camera that could record in full HD, and it had an option for 64 gigabytes of storage. The iPhone 4S became an even bigger success than its predecessor, selling an estimated 60 million units in total. We want to make a much better phone. iPhone 5 is the result of this approach. It's been completely redesigned. And for the first time ever, we've increased the size of the display. Next came the iPhone 5 with a bigger 4-inch display. The new lightning connector made the iPhone 5 charge faster. It was also 18% thinner and 20% lighter than the iPhone 4S. Apple claimed it was the thinnest smartphone in the world at 7.6 millimeters. And that's not all. It also had a faster chip. We're also introducing an all-new Apple-designed A6 chip. It delivers performance that's up to twice as fast as the previous generation. The iPhone 5 also had a better front camera and the RAM was improved to one gigabyte. Fun fact, the App Store with all of its apps are, of course, very important for the success of the iPhone, but did you know there are almost two million apps available for download? In 2013, the iPhone 5C was released alongside the more powerful iPhone 5S. The 5C was basically a more colorful and $100 cheaper iPhone 5. It had a hard-coated polycarbonate shell, which is just a fancy word for plastic, instead of the aluminum shell of the iPhone 5. And the iPhone 5S came with Touch ID, which uses a fingerprint scanner in the home button as an easier way to unlock the phone. The Sentry uses advanced capacitive touch to take, in essence, a high-resolution image of your fingerprint from the sub-epidermal layers of your skin. It then intelligently analyzes this information with a remarkable degree of detail and precision. It also had an improved battery and was up to twice as fast due to the A7 chip. The iPhone 5S became a massive success and over 163 million units have been sold. The iPhone got bigger and better in 2014 with the introduction of the iPhone 6. It was the first iPhone to have Retina HD and a storage option for 128 gigabytes. Buyers could now choose between two different screen types. With the iPhone 6 Plus having a larger 5.5-inch display and an improved battery, plus a $100 added price tag. With iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus, we've taken the time to do the deep engineering to design and develop two entirely new iPhones. More significant than just bigger and better displays, the design has never been so compelling, undoubtedly making this the biggest advance in the iPhone since we launched the original. Fun fact, the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus became the best-selling smartphones of all time. In total, a whopping 222 million units have been sold. The iPhone 6S and 6S Plus were released in 2015. Apple stated that the new A9 chip had up to 70% more CPU and 90% more graphics performance compared to its predecessor. 3D Touch was also introduced, which responds to the pressure of your finger, but there is more. The camera shoots 4K video now, which changes how your movies look. Nice. Even selfies have changed. Now your screen is the flash. That's gonna get like a million likes. Thanks. Actually, photos themselves have changed. They move now. You just touch them. The iPhone 6S also had a better front and back camera, as well as two gigabytes of RAM. Besides the larger screen, the iPhone 6S Plus also had a better battery, but it was $100 more expensive. The first-generation iPhone SE released in 2016 was basically a cheaper and smaller version of the iPhone 6S. It had the same processor as the 6S and became the most powerful 4-inch phone ever. 
The front camera was downgraded, but it came at a starting price of just $399. We have created a product that is the most deliberate evolution of our original founding design. In the same year, the iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus were released. The headphone jack was removed. Now you had to use a lightning cable headphone jack or use the wireless AirPods that were released at the same time. It also became the first water-resistant iPhone model. The front camera was improved and it came with a 256 gigabyte storage option. The iPhone 7 Plus didn't have one, but two cameras at the back. These dual cameras considerably improved the quality of photos and videos when zooming in. The iPhone 7 Plus also had increased RAM. It was sold for $769. Fun fact, in 2016, Apple managed to sell its billionth iPhone. If you thought that was impressive, wait till the end to find out how many iPhones have been sold in total. In 2017, the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus were released. It had wireless charging. This means that the phone can be charged through the glass cover on the back of the phone by placing it on a wireless pad. It also came with the A11 Bionic chip, making it about 30% faster than the iPhone 7. The price of the iPhone 8 was increased by $50. The larger iPhone 8 Plus had an improved dual camera, but it did cost $100 more. The iPhone 8 and 8 Plus have sold more than 86 million units, making it the fifth best-selling smartphone of all time. 2017 marked the 10th year since the first iPhone was released. To celebrate this milestone, the iPhone 10 was released, with the letter X standing for 10. It was the first iPhone that didn't have a home button. This made it possible to have a larger display on a smaller phone. It was also the first to have an OLED screen. The custom OLED panel was engineered to fold and seamlessly combine with the external surfaces. Mechanical buttons give way to touch and gestures. There's no home button. A single swipe takes you to the home screen. Face ID was added. This way you can unlock your phone using facial recognition. To let you unlock your phone with a glance. We call this Face ID. It maps the unique geometry of your face with over 30,000 invisible dots. Your iPhone now recognizes you, even in the dark, and will adapt to your physical changes. This makes your face your secure password. The iPhone 10 came at a very high starting price of $999, making it the most expensive iPhone at the time. I love how everyone was dead silent when the price was revealed. It'll be priced from $9.99. iPhone XR integrates the same breakthrough technologies. The iPhone XR was released in 2018 and came in multiple colors. It also had a liquid retina display. The all-screen liquid retina display is the most advanced LCD in a smartphone and the most color accurate in the industry. A new backlight design allows the display to extend into the radius corners, enabling a larger LCD than ever before. The screen was slightly bigger and the price was less expensive than the iPhone 10, but it only had one rather than two camera lenses at the back. iPhone 10s, iPhone 10s Max. They are stunning. The best iPhones we've ever made by a long shot. At the same time, the iPhone XS and XS Max were released. iPhone XS is completely uncompromising. The expansive Super Retina display with OLED delivers vivid brightness, true blacks, and high dynamic range content. iPhone XS Max has the largest display ever on an iPhone. It came with the very advanced A12 Bionic chip. The A12 Bionic chip is the smartest and most powerful chip ever in a smartphone. Its next generation neural engine dedicates machine learning to everything from augmented reality to photography. The iPhone XS had more RAM and came with a storage option of 512 gigabytes. The iPhone XS Max has a bigger screen and it comes at $1,099. Fun fact! Apple is dominating the smartphone market. As of November 2018, over 2.2 billion iPhones were sold. In 2019, the iPhone 11, 11 Pro, and 11 Pro Max were released. The iPhone 11 offers a night mode for better images in low light conditions, and it has a wide camera feature. 
The front camera was improved to 12 megapixels. Introducing iPhone 11 Pro. The iPhone 11 Pro is the first phone to feature the Pro designation, and it was faster than ever before. The Apple-designed A13 Bionic chip is the most ambitious to date. It's the fastest chip ever in a smartphone, yet more efficient than ever. It also came with as many as three cameras on the back. The triple camera system combines cutting-edge technology with the extraordinary ease of iPhone. This did not only allow for better images, but also made it possible to capture the highest quality video of any smartphone and supports a 4K video resolution up to 60 frames per second. The iPhone 11 Pro has an impressive 6 gigabytes of RAM and was sold for $999. The iPhone 11 Pro Max has a larger display and is sold for $1,099. The second generation iPhone SE was released in 2020, just like its predecessor. Released in 2016, it was sold for $399, which is very cheap for an iPhone. It has the same Apple A13 Bionic chip as the iPhone 11, which was the fastest chip in a smartphone. The iPhone SE comes with a 4.7-inch display and has Touch ID built into its home button. The iPhone 12 and 12 mini were introduced in 2020. The iPhone 12 is designed to be 11% thinner, 15% smaller, and 16% lighter than the iPhone 11. The iPhone 12 is also the first iPhone to support 5G. Today is the beginning of a new era for iPhone. Today, we're bringing 5G to iPhone. 5G is set to change the world with radically faster speeds. Apple also introduced Ceramic Shield, which makes the screen much tougher. Ceramic Shield goes beyond glass by adding a new high temperature crystallization step, which grows nano ceramic crystals within the glass matrix to dramatically improve toughness. Ceramic Shield has four times better drop performance, meaning if the iPhone 12 falls, it has four times the chance of surviving without cracking. It also received a new A14 chip, which significantly increases the speed of the CPU and GPU. The A14 also allows for a dramatic increase in machine learning capabilities. The iPhone 12 was more expensive than the iPhone 11 with a starting price of $799. While the iPhone 12 comes with a 6.1-inch display, the 12 mini has a 5.4-inch display. It was also $100 cheaper. Fun fact! Apple is the largest company in the world and is valued at over $2 trillion. In 2020, Apple generated $274 billion in revenue, of which 50% came from iPhone sales. This is iPhone 12 Pro. The iPhone 12 Pro and Pro Max were the flagship smartphones in the 14th generation of the iPhone. A new and improved Pro camera system makes the 12 Pro the photographer's iPhone. iPhone 12 Pro smashes the benchmark for highest quality video in a smartphone. All this and more make iPhone 12 Pro the most powerful iPhone ever. The iPhone 12 Pro has a slightly larger screen compared to the iPhone 11 Pro. It came in at the same starting price of $999. The iPhone 12 Pro Max has a 6.7-inch display, the largest display ever on an iPhone. It has a starting price of $1,099. In September 2021, the iPhone 13 and 13 Mini are released. The iPhone 13 comes with the A15 Bionic chip, which has the fastest CPU and GPU of all smartphones. It also has faster 5G speeds and the most advanced dual camera. A new feature is the cinematic mode, which allows for automatic focus changes to create cinematic movie scenes. The battery is also improved with a 2.5 hour longer battery life compared to the iPhone 12. The iPhone 13 has an option for 512 gigabytes and is sold for $799. The iPhone 13 mini also has an increased battery life compared to the iPhone 12 mini by up to 1.5 hours. The iPhone mini is sold for $699. And finally, there are the iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max, also released at the same time in 2021. The A15 Bionic is even more impressive, making them the most advanced smartphones in the world. Both the iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max have a larger battery, allowing for an improved battery life compared to their predecessors. 
The iPhone 13 Pro includes three new cameras. According to Apple, it is, quote, our biggest camera advancement ever. The new camera system allows for better images and videos, even when there is almost no light. And helps improve low light performance by 87%. For the first time ever, a one terabyte storage option is available. The iPhone 13 Pro is priced at $999. The 6.7 inch iPhone 13 Pro Max has the same starting price as its predecessor and starts at $1,099. From the first iPhone released in 2007 all the way to the iPhone 13 introduced in September 2021, it is unbelievable how much the iPhone has improved. Please subscribe for more educative, high-quality animations.